Stellar Blade. So thoughts on that? Impressions, reactions? What did you think about that? For the trailer, what they showed and how they were explaining the story, I think, like, I have, like, a hit and miss, love and hate for certain trailers where they give you, like, this whole storyline. But for Stellar Blade, it really worked for me. You know, learning about Eve and coming down and she's part of the 7th Airborne Squadron and, like, she's she's sent down to Earth and then she loses the rest of her squadron where she meets Adam, which I thought was very interesting, you know, the whole Adam and Eve. yes. You know, and, and Adam, he was somebody that was born on Earth and has, like, knows everything that's going on. And that entire process of how they were explaining the story along was showing the action, showing, you know, little cinematics here and there. And I got a little bit of, like, a Scarlet Nexus vibe from it. Um, just more of, like, the visual vibes and, like, the hack and slash that I really, really like. So I, I, I'm, st I'm stoked with that. That is definitely going to be added onto my watch list. Um... And the thing is, I think that's it's not going to be on my watch list too long because that's coming right around the corner. February yeah. 8th, I believe, is is the date. I'm like, wow, that's literally right around the corner. So don't have to wait too long. And that's also another great thing. Yeah, that's the same thing that drives me insane that I, I don't think I've seen too much of from from whether it be PlayStation or or Xbox, or Jeff Keighley, and all of their announcements. I used, it used to drive me crazy seeing like, oh, they'll show you this amazing game coming two years later down the line. I'm like, how oh, come on, at least within a year. So lately, a lot of these shows have been, you know, putting out, a lot of games are showing you games that are coming out within the next couple months to the next year. And that, does, that doesn't feel so far off. Like, I'm not going to forget about it. So this one, the fact that it's right, like a week, a week away now. <laughs> yeah that's that's fantastic yeah so i i really i really appreciate it for a couple of things side missions right main missions and deciding that if you wanted to do those things or not you know so we we love that the other thing too that really caught my attention by way of presentation like you said they they gave us a lot you know to really appreciate and i think because it's right around the corner they had to right it was a good decision to do that and then when i think about a game like this i think about bayonetta even though Bayonetta's uh, boss battles are a little bit more extreme, in my opinion, than this was. Uh, but it does have that kind of feel uh, for, you know, for that particular genre. But I really liked it. I really enjoyed what I saw for, for Stellar Blade. So um, all good, all good things there. A plus for me. Yeah, I, I, I can't wait to play it and get my hands on it. 